Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Trolls. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough <coughs> where we are trying to beat slash play as far as we want in the highest difficulty. Time for Operation Swift Gears where we finally start the liberation in North America. That in itself is good. You will be pleased to hear that we got a very experienced squad consisting of Grey Knights and a couple of Blood Angels with us, so this is going to be fun. 18 enemies and all we need to do is neutralize a target or capture that for extra intel. In both cases we're going to get a plus one resistance bonus. Alright, our goal is a very calm, unexciting mission. How about that? <clears throat> Starting with Oscar Mike. Oh wow, this is very, very densely packed. Good, we're a steadying weapon there. It would be nice to have Drangs burn them. But I am afraid we potentially can't get close enough in order to do that. Yeah, I don't want to risk anything. Now. On the move. On the move. Moving to designated position. Affirmative. Covering now. Roger. Good. Next turn is go time. And this here is a complete hornet nest. And this is getting worse and worse. Might as well pull them with a big fat rocket. Not the worst idea, Saiken. Chrysalids, the bane of our existence. Listen, this here looks almost too tasty to not do it. Let's bring it on. <laughs> Runs right into close combat quarters. Yeah, that's okay. We wanted to spot him anyways. This could be a faceless one. Or maybe I'm regretting it. Either way, only time will tell. I think I regret it. The guy just died. We need to f find. No, 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 no. So this here is a problem, but one that I need to take care of in a second. For now, I need that commando down there to die, the vanguard, because he has. 
Plenty of reaction shots. Heavy Lancer. Okay. That's not too bad. One down, two down. A meager scope is all he could uh, afford to drop. <clears throat> Johnny Five is definitely cleaning up. I, I did talk about faces once, didn't I? And now we ha have one right here. Got it. Uh, he got everything down until like one hit point. Not a so I think that is worth something. That's how it's done. Uh, I'm going. Yeah, might as well do the fifty-fifty. I don't care. Big deal. All right, place it. Place it is putting himself in a position where they cannot be spotted out. Are you kidding me? Another face is one. After we cleaned up so well. Got the map in here. Okay. <sighs> Gotta give it a short break, guys. Be right back. All right, back in action. That was a bit of a emergency. Let's go and. Kill the rest. Surveillance so drone needs to die. We're taking wow. that as a greater death from above option. And how about going all the way to here? That might trigger, I don't want to trigger. This on the other hand should be hit and run. Why does the trigger hit and run? I don't understand. Hmm. Very, very strange. But we're carefully moving forward without triggering anything else. Dranks finishes this guy. And I just want to make sure we are well aware of all of the enemies here. This looks like a faceless one. Calling it now. Yeah, 
this here is a quote unquote safe spot. I hope it's worth it. All right, Overwatch and Overwatch. These guys just couldn't stand still. I of course wanted to engage, which is okay, I suppose. Our overwatch shots are precise as always. Sometimes I wonder why am I even bothering with overwatch. Mass reanimation. Fantastic. Okay, for starters, who's the best insanity target? I'd like to get you of a heavy gunner. Nice little panic there. You can see the panic in your eyes. And I think we're just going to soul fire the guardian to teach him a valuable lesson. You are never safe against psionics. Never. Never. No problem, boss. Moving up, finally. And we got a clutch shot. Good. That was pretty good. Now, what we want to do is get that commander. Oh, okay. Of course. Triple Viper. We're staying hidden. We're green to go. Fortification. And running and gunning. Fifty fifty. Not the best odds, but okay. By the numbers. Um let's hand that advanced teamwork over and we're going to see if we need to burn all of uh, those guys. This will at least disorient. Okay. Not too bad. Let's get the surveillance drone. I don't want to be stunned. We need more damage mitigation, so overdrive zero mid is. 
and kill the commander. That should kill the zombies. I don't know if they modded that out or not. Okay, that is still working. Um, I hate being so greedy, but I think this is a good one. Uh, moderate, one would say. Not good, but moderate. Alright, disoriented. Should not hit. Heavy fire in this zone. Hit and slither. That, on the other hand, will hit. No. But it, it's hit and slither time. Not another one, right? Oh my lord. How do they keep coming? Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. That requires some more of this here. And that is a kill. That's right. Good. Followed up by a command. Which gives us another action. I think this here's the last pack. Can hardly imagine that there is more to it. You can't handle me. Oh, I forgot about the chrysalids. Of course, there is more to it. Well, listen, there is a chance that we could crit this guy. It's not a great one, but there is one. You know that, was good. that indeed was quite impressive. There's another chrysalid over here. We're teleporting to high ground. And I want to put you into stasis. Crowd control at its finest. The chrysalid here, but I think we're going to be fine. What, what is happening? They really meant that there is a faceless infestation here. No kidding. It's not even an infestation, this is a drastic overpopulation of them. I am indeed quite impressed how we haven't taken any damage yet. 
We're going to go in, trigger the other chrysalid, that's why I take extra hit points. Which, by the way, was also the reason why we did not um, move our sniper. I did not want to trigger the chrysalid. Reload first so that we do have overwood shots for close quarter shooting and hit the chrysalis. Alright, Pliskit is going to scout out for us ahead for us. More of them coming in. This is the point where Jammer comes in extremely handy, which is also the reason why I wanted to have it. No reinforcements for you. Dranks does an excellent job in appeasing the VIP. Nothing over there. Okay, cool. Well, we can move on. Facewalk is a really good ability. I think I will need to scale that more often. I'm all over it. Will do. Let's do this. Once you do have mobility on all of your characters. Those great escape uh, moves that we're all liking can happen way more frequently. Alright, overdriving for more speed. And that will allow Pliskit to finally also get out in time. Overdrive zero, very good, very good. Evac confirmed. Ready to boogie. Just in time. VIP secure. And this is fire break. VIP is secure. Heading home. Look, I think that that indeed was a very fun mission. The whole floor, uh, the whole uh, faces ones. That was irritating. Like we had what four faceless ones, or even five. Every second civilian was a faceless one, and I was uh, even killing a normal civilian. I was like, oh, if that is a faceless one, um, that'll be uh, fun. But elsewise, I regret it. And then that was the only civilian who was not a faceless one. Everybody else just turned inside out. Cool. Look, Dranks is ready for it. We need a couple more skills for him, but Bunker Buster saw the way uh, he will be great at removing cover. In the meantime, uh, Chain Lightning for you, my friend. Great ability. And uh, Johnny Five. 
Still needs to get a couple more ranks, to be honest. Whirlwind isn't bad. That one here is good as well. But we have the whole death from above and more levels, so that would be good. That would really be good. And rapid fire wouldn't be bad either. Hit and run, we could go as well. That is mutually exclusive from death from above. Yeah, it's not bad. These two could give extra actions. And Divad unfortunately didn't get an upgrade. That is really lamentable. Hilarium Core. Okay. Nah. Too bad. Can't do it. On the upside, in terms of squad management, we got only Scythe here needing an upgrade for the Grey Knights. And here, uh, Johnny Five is uh, the only one who really needs an upgrade. Yeah, we got, we got quite a few really good upgrades. Let's see with resistance management. Yeah, we already got Haven advisors everywhere. Yeah, we need to we need to expand a little bit further and we got enough intel to do that. Look at uh, the amount of intel that came in, so we're actually good. We're very good. And you two want to increase your bond, and I have no problems whatsoever with that. That's actually a good idea. Good. In terms of next missions, unfortunately our episode here will need to be ending because it's... Oh wait, well, maybe not yet. Oh, we're already at uh, the option of liberating that got not enough vigilance I am wondering I am wondering if we want to liberate another region this here for instance could be a good liberation don't you think Let me start uh, with that because we're now having quite a few regions that theoretically could be liberated. Um, I'll just find the right team. Okay, so we're eight manning this because if you go above eight uh, people, it just starts to become crazy. Uh, new India, a lot of new recruits. I think the easiest way to go about that is to do the resistance management. Good. Our recruitment efforts definitely pay off. And even in a liberated region, we're now at 9. So the moment that we hit 13, we can get more income. Substantially more income. At the moment, we're a bit reduced due to a chosen intervention, but that is okay. Let's just double check in our squad management. Still got long time wounded um, Eric Hartbite here. Um, yeah, once the guys are ready, we can go take on the next chosen. I think the last one worked very well. I think the last one worked very well. Yep. 
the other Grey Knights are doing fine. I mean, the bond training is great. And we're now infiltrating for quite a while with uh, that other team, eight days and a bit. But we're okay. No, this is another infiltration. Sorry, this is the nine days infiltration. Blood Angels are in a covert action. This here is the nine day infiltration together with the um, Psy oper uh, operatives. So, yep, that's fine. And we still got, theoretically, uh, the Space Wolves are injured as always. Somehow these guys are always injured. But we got the Imperial Fists ready, we got the Iron Hands ready, we got the Raven Guard ready, and these guys were going to get ready in a second because that's the next mission that we're going to do. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate that. If you enjoy long more of the Chosen content, leave a comment and a like down below because that will help the video. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.